I'm Torley Linden. I bid you friendly greetings, and I'm going to show you how to use voice chat in Second Life to communicate better. The first thing you'll notice is I have this white dot over my head. Now, when I'm actually using voice like this, you're going to notice that I have these green waves coming out. And anyone who has voice that sees these, that has these waves, it just means voice is enabled. Easy as that. And notice also the talk button here. This is on. I have push to talk on, which is an option that allows me to press my middle mouse button down or another trigger so that I can control when I am speaking. That way, the line isn't always on. The mic isn't always open. Okay. So with that explained, let's go up to the edit menu and into preferences. Right here is the voice chat tab. This is where everything is controlled. And if you haven't already set it up when you installed Second Life, you can go right into the voice chat setup. And this is sort of a wizard that helps you step by step. So yes, looking at all this text, I definitely want to have voice chat on. It's on. Okay. Next. And here are some other options. Now, this one I'm going to show you this later with my exquisite wife. How this one with camera and avatar position make a difference. This one's sort of a privacy feature. If you only want your friends to be able to initiate private voice calls, and push to talk mode is something I like because it means the the mic isn't always open, as I was saying. Now you can set a trigger. It can be a key. So if I set the key to be like the the little back to key thing here, and then this is now my push to talk trigger, and I'll show you why that makes a difference. Normally I set the middle mouse button. That's just a handy use. And next, we just have a have a display here showing that yes I'm speaking and I can control my input level. If you're going into the red, if you're going to all five squares, that's not good. It's probably going to be very loud. So right now I'm pretty healthy. Three or four, right? Three or four. That's good. And the input device. You need to have this set up. And by the way, if you don't already have it set up, I'm on a Windows system, so let me just go over to my control panel. And I'm just going to drag this over here so you can see. Right here in sounds and audio devices. Ooh, let me just put this over here too. And this is where it's configured. So on my setup, at least, I'm on Windows XP under the audio tab right here in sound recording, and this is where it's set up. Now it's going to be a little different for each computer. But basically, as long as you can record sound in other programs and you try it, and there's other tests you can do in here, then it should work in Second Life as well. I'm just going to cancel that and go back to Second Life since I'm not going to make any changes there. But right here, we've returned, and now that I have all this all set up and it's working, remember if you see green here, it's working, and then you can click Finish and OK again. So remember, I had my push to talk trigger changed from the middle mouse button to the, the tilde key, or the little back T key, it's the same thing. And I just hold the back tick and see, every time I press the key, you can hear me pressing it, then it activates this push to talk. If you want your mic to always be on, click the lock button. So now it's locked. And now it's always on, my mic is always open, I'm no longer holding the key, and I can unlock it by clicking that again. I want it set back to the middle mouse button, though I find that more convenient. But in case you like a key, that's why you can change it. Okay, middle mouse, and okay. So, what's next?